video is going to be pretty sick because I'm going to California for the first time. Unfortunately, I won't be driving, but my crew chief, Alex, needs some help getting his car set up. So I'm going to be crew chiefing for him this weekend at Hot Pit, and we're going to fucking crush it. Stay tuned and watch this. <laughs> of a mile and an actual mile but I can't really tell because the cluster doesn't light up you don't need to worry about any warnings or you know your temperature or your fuel it'll be fine uh, so wish me luck and this is gonna be sick all right like any good story uh, it goes without problems and this car has been nothing but reliable and it hasn't broke down on me yet Right now, I'm driving through Dallas with no headlights on, nothing on, because I don't know if you can see that, but my battery light's on. Sick. So, no one around. Well, Haltom City has an alternator, but I'm not gonna have time to make it to DFW. I'm gonna go to AutoZone and buy the tools I need and a battery to try to just limp it to the airport. And what's even shittier was I put a set of jumper cords on the outside of my shop to put in here. Guess who didn't put them in here? Sick. Well, I did a pull onto the highway because I took a wrong turn and I guess that's all it needed. It's fixed. All right, so I made it to the airport and uh, the car actually fixed itself. So that's pretty cool. Um, getting on the airplane like had just enough time. So pretty sick. I'm gonna take a nap on my way there and uh, we'll meet up with Alex. I made it to California, finally. Uh, it's like midnight here. So I get a little nap on the plane, but I think we get like another hour drive because I flew into Ontario. Um, but Alex is on his way to pick me up. Pretty stoked, can't wait. Well, we couldn't even make it 10 minutes without this uh, Mustang trying to fly. Let's not uh, break this thing out of the way. <laughs> oh, you know what it was? It's we were losing traction. Oh, does it get pissed off? Yeah, if I don't turn traction control all the way off. Oh, yeah, because it starts cutting everything. Yeah, yeah so he, this is his 1300 horsepower daily driver Mustang. It's pretty <laughs> Alright, so it's past 2 a.m. in the morning, so it's pretty much 4 o'clock in the morning right now for me. And we're in the shop pulling the fucking diff out of the car. <laughs> uh, there are some changes that need to be made. To be fair, he broke this diff like yesterday and, uh, well, the other winners he had. So we're putting this old style one in and nothing fits. And... So we're gonna get this together and hopefully that will be all we need to do for tonight and we'll be good to go in like a couple hours in the morning. Sick. We made it, we're at Arundel. It's like nine o'clock in the morning. Bunch of shit going on. What's up with the NASCAR? Uh, that's, what, that's why we got pushed back to 4 p.m. Oh, because they're practicing? Uh, yeah, because Tim decided that he wanted the NASCAR drivers to use our track. Oh. But yeah, this all this was parking, but look, it's all fucking containers. There. Yeah, all back there. No more parking. Dang. 
I like that these cars actually like look nice. Everything in, in Texas is just hammered. Oh, hey, Gatsby's here. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Take some fancy videos. doing final uh, tune-up on the car. I think we just picked up another 30 horsepower. It's a lot of Quack. mud. Still coming out. Man. <laughs> All right, we're finally lining up. Uh, weather's beautiful. Sun's still out. And uh, we got a bunch of badass cars here. Our car looks properly broken, so it's gonna be fast. And everybody else's car is pretty sick. Everything's LS swap or 2J swap. Like everything's pretty freaking serious. So it's gonna be cool. Big competition, and uh, I've got big hopes. So let's get it. Car feels good. 
he's uh, watching some, some track time to figure out what he's going to do better. But uh, really excited. I think tomorrow we're going to crush it. He looks great. Car looks great. If you said it feels great, then I think we're doing the right thing. How do you think it's going? Uh, I think I got it now. I'm good. Yeah. Car feels good? Yeah. Yeah. Just, uh, I think the only thing I need to improve is just, uh, fix my transitions and where I'm transitioning, and then I think I'll be fine. The wall, I feel good. Uh, I can go faster into the wall in these fusion. But the wall, I feel pretty good. How far was I? Yeah, you look good. You're on that thing. I can't really get the depth from there. You know, the, the depth going all the way out there is really hard to see. But, um, yeah, the transitions are a little wonky. You went really far out on three. But uh, besides that, you look great. I think just tidy it up now, you know, and you'll be, you look confident, so that's good. Oh, it feels good. I like it. Sweet. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep, good job. So we're into qualifying. We had to do a little bit of nitrous adjustments and we've been having bottom problems. Um, so like the past three or four runs, we haven't actually been getting nitrous out of the car. Uh, the bottles were like dead, even though we just filled them. Not really sure what's going on with that. We even try to blow torques. Uh, I'm not too familiar with nitrous, but uh, we got a bottle. It seems like it's spraying good. And uh, he's about to line up to qualify. So this will be our last run of the night. And then hopefully we'll be in the top 24 and we won't have to battle it out for those bottom eight spots. Okay, we blew a pipe off the exhaust. I think it backfired uh, when he did the burnout because he kind of went like ham with it. I don't know, gang gang. This is Johnny, he's gonna be on our team. He's helping out today, <laughs> killing it. Thanks brother. And uh, so we got a 10 point deduction and we're going last, um, but if we just do like a really badass qualifier run, we'll still be in top 24, so fuck it. Car's been sitting a while, he needs to get those tires hot. Here he goes. I've been recovering. Sunday morning, you can tell he's already amped up. Uh, we got a couple changes because uh, we're, we decided we're not gonna run the nitrous. Um, we're just having too many issues with it, not enough time to fix it, and the car makes 500 anyway, so I think we'll be fine. 
Um, you just pull some grip out of it, and we got practice in like 45 minutes. Yeah. So we got some time. It'll be a little bit of hustle this morning, but I'm pretty amped up, and I think that the <laughs> car is going to do great, and Alex is going to stop being a weenie. No more weenies. He likes the glizzies. Uh-huh. <laughs> First practice run of the day. Let's see how it goes. Uh, we get a little bit of rain. We loosen the car up a little bit too. So no nitrous still makes 500. I think we'll be just fine. get into the top 32 and we made a couple crappy changes that caused the car to do bad uh, mostly my fault uh, so we did the gear change no, yesterday no, tell, tell the full story what the do you full mean? story was we started having nitrous problems because we found out having a nitrous bottle for a highly banked course put on a parallel side 
caused the nitrous to be unreliable. So we had power issues. So I made a decision to make the gear ratio higher so it's easier to spin the wheels. So I told this guy to put a higher gear ratio. And I've never worked on a winner's, I've never looked at a winner's chart and I have no idea what I'm doing. So I grabbed what I thought was the old gears that were in the car. Cause I didn't really help too much with doing the other gear swap. I like looked real quick when you guys were doing it. And then, so I, I fucked up and I put 426s or something. 429. 429 gears in it instead of 511s. So it essentially made me think that the engine was broken because what I assumed would have been rev bouncing on the bank instead was bogging like crazy. So my first assumption was I blew the engine up. So we started doing a lot of repairs and a lot of fixes and uh, I tried to drive the car and didn't work out because I lost. And then after we're starting to pack up, I look at the gear sets that are in my box and I find the 511 gear sets sitting there inside its box. So- No, there's no box for the 511 gears. But I found the gear set in the box. <laughs> so I'm like, if the 511 gear set is here in the back of my truck, then what the Quack. is not behind? Then this guy goes, oh, it's the 2526 or 2326. 2425. There you go. He knows it. Which I had talked about that before when we took the other ones apart. So I guess I looked at the wrong gear set the first time it got pulled apart. And uh, that's what I thought came out of the car. So like I looked at the, the chart and I thought, I have no idea what I'm looking at. But this is what I remember came out of the car. So I just put that in. And uh, we didn't realize that. We just thought the car was a piece of shit. But it's still my I'm fault. I'm a piece of shit. Still my <laughs> fault. I need to drive better because a good driver would have figured out he had the wrong gear ratio and would have told him, hey, did you sure you put in the right gear ratio? So. And then I would have second guessed it because I have no idea what I'm doing with the winners. Yeah. So. so. Uh, Oops. Shit happens. Sorry, bud. Round, round two. Round yeah. two is Rap. where we have to look up to. Uh, I'm going to memorize the fucking <laughs> winner's chart for round two. Uh, <laughs> and we're going to label them. Yes. Perfect. In a box. Yes. <laughs> Sick. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Wish it would have went better, but um, it's a learning experience. And hopefully we don't make this fucking change or mistake in FD because that's going to be a lot more money down the shitter. Well, luckily you don't have a quick change. Yeah. So Quick changes are not the way to go. <laughs> Says you. Yeah. <laughs> you, don't, you don't need to change gears because we got blowers. Oh, there you go. Yeah. That's true. No nitrous. First problem gone, no winners. Second problem gone. We're perfect. <laughs> Sick. All right, thanks guys.